welcome to your monthly update where you will find out about everything that happened in the world of Eurovision during the month of May. In the beginning of the month, artists from 42 countries traveled to Ukraine to prepare for the 2017 edition of the contest. Five rehearsals, two press conferences and a walk over the red carpet later, it was time for the live shows. 20 countries qualified and joined the Big Five and host country Ukraine in the grand final on Saturday the 13th of May. After an exciting show, the professional juries and the viewers at home agreed on the winner, Salvador Sobral from Portugal. We still have 376 points for Portugal and that means that Portugal is the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2017! Congratulations Portugal! This could be a victory for music with people that make music that actually means something. Uh, music is not fireworks, music is feeling. The victory was celebrated in Portugal where thousands of fans were waiting for Salvador, his sister and songwriter Luisa and their team at the airport. Salvador was not the only one getting a warm welcome back home. All over Europe and beyond, artists were greeted at their arrival. For the artists, qualifying for the final or not, the Eurovision Song Contest will forever be a great memory. Although uh, I, I didn't uh, get Czech Republic to the final, I really enjoyed that. And I will live uh, in the next few months uh, with those memories and moments from the whole journey, uh, from February to, to May. I really enjoyed every single day and uh, I'm really very, very happy that I could be a part of it. The Eurovision Song Contest was seen by over 180 million viewers in 2017. Winning country Portugal delivered its largest audience since 2008. The contest broke viewing records on YouTube. The three shows combined were watched by 6 million viewers from over 233 countries. In the next few weeks we will be looking back to the 2017 Eurovision Song Contest in Kiev, but also looking forward to 2018 in Portugal. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss a second of all the Eurovision news. For the American.